Like very satisfying. Look at this. Oh yeah. This sound is also very punchy. Hello guys and welcome to my let's play of Andromeda 2 Zombies. Now you may not hear this by the way, but the music in my ears are very very loud. You might even be able to hear it through my microphone. First thing I need to say about this game is add an options button where you can change the audio. <laughs> Um, but let me just start it so there's a little bit of silence. So, so first of all, I played a game like this in the past. It was made by the same guy who made it right now. And uh, this is his second or third game. Um, I have his other game. It's free. And I wanted to play it. So uh, I'm here now. Now, what am I supposed to do here? Just shoot? Okay. I d what, how, why do I shoot? Like, I don't have it. Wait. Oh, no. Okay, so... Wait, does that mean that... Oh, yeah, the sights in this game aren't actually the sights. So, um... Okay, let's see. So, so this guy here... Uh, uh, let me just finish talking before I continue. He, he made another game that is a lot like this one. Almost an exact copy of this one. Um, where he, uh, he made... Uh, a zombie game that I played and it's called Andromeda something. It wasn't exactly called Zombies, I don't think. And then I played another one of his game, uh, games which was like zombie based and it was just called Andromeda Zombies, I think. And this is Andromeda 2 Zombies. Uh, in those games, they were very short, they weren't that great and, uh, the description didn't really fit the game at all because it's supposed to be take place in space and stuff. But I see that he actually has changed things according to beforehand. Uh, so that's nice of him or her. I don't actually know if it did gender. Uh, but it's nice to know that they're actually trying to improve. Uh, I don't hate on these small free games for one reason. You know, they're free and two, they are... Um, they're free and they're just making it because they're passionate about it. And if they get release something for free, I don't really mind. So, so yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So this looks almost exactly like the one beforehand. Like, like god damn, you're giving us me all the weapons. Now, a few issues I can already tell you is that, uh, first of all, zombies are way too slow. Uh, they should be way faster. If you want to make slow zombies, try to slow down the animations so they fit. I think there's like a speed thing you can do in Game Guru. Because this is something you could make in Game Guru yourself if you wanted to. It, it's, a, it's a game engine. A very old school one that doesn't really have that, that many details involved in it. And uh, it, like I said, it's the same as usual where you just kind of just get put into a world and he just put enemies in here to fit it. So let's see, this is stage one. I don't know if he made more stages. Uh, again, I would love an options button. I mean, there's a graphic settings. Uh, I would prefer highest and I would love a high field of view myself. Not, not, not too high, but like decently high. Okay. Um, if he is listening to me right now, add this to the main menu if possible. Uh, this would very much be good for everyone who wants to, to try out your game. Uh, please do add the option thingy into the main menu. Like, it would be very much appreciated. Where are all my weapons? Wait. Where did my... I'm looking for... I don't have it anymore. Where's my shotgun? Oh, right here. Okay, never mind. I missed it. Whoops. Alright, is this another map or is this uh, the same again? But I think it's kind of interesting because I kind of see this game developer's journey. Okay, here we go. I could literally just do this. Walk over to them. But yeah, they definitely need to be faster or the animations need to be fixed. If you really want them to be slow zombies, like the walking dead and such. But the game itself doesn't feel bad. Uh, again... It uses the normal assets in Game Guru. Maybe a few paid ones in there, but uh, overall, it's not bad at all. No more ammo, huh? You are wa wanting me to try to improve, and then I just. I see. 
Now, the extra mile would be to change this from a desert to, um, to like, probably either grass again. Because before, he used grass assets. Uh, and then these. Maybe they change it to desert and then use these houses. But maybe try to make your own house or uh, find a better looking house that might fit it a little bit more. Like in space. Because this is, again, supposed to take place in space. Uh, so so there's that and maybe try to make these not float if possible because that looks a little bit weird I'm saying all this but this person is probably never gonna watch my videos but I'm routing for you a uh, person who made this I really am because the game development journey is is a long one and uh, you know it's, sometimes it's just very nice to be able to make worse games to begin with and then like better games as you go on Right here we go, shotgun. I think the shotgun is my favorite game guru asset because it's so satisfying to use. Like very satisfying, look at this. Oh yeah. The sound is also very punchy. Uh, so already here I can see that the person copied the level to make it begin with and just kind of added on to it. Either that or I'm playing the same level over and over again. But I just feel like it's getting a little bit longer. It might just be me though. I think it's getting longer because there weren't this many zombies to begin with, right? And there should be more zombies. I think they No? Oh god, this scared me a little bit. <laughs> okay, that, that definitely more. Yeah, I sort of missed these guys. But yeah, overall, I, my opinion on like using other assets is completely fine. I don't mind it when someone uses assets that you are allowed to use. And just kind of mess around with it and make something wacky and fun out of it. Now, am I just playing the same level over and over again or I'm playing a different one? It is a different one. More zombies. Okay. Definitely more zombies. But it seems to be the same level over and over again, but more enemies. Like with each, um, each time I go past. Just reload really fast. Here you go. Here we go, more stuff for me, I guess. I mean... <laughs> After I've done this a couple of times, I might just stop playing because it's the same thing over and over again. Just more enemies. Alright, let's see, let's see. You're not dead. This looks so stupid with the zombies like trying to run fast, but they can't. Some of them are running a little bit faster. No, they're my all the same. Even some skins are the same. I do like the one shot to the head kills them. Not a lot of games actually do that. Hello there, buddy. See you running towards me. Okay, is this it? This seems to be it. Okay. Next map, I guess, maybe. Okay, let's see, let's see. What do you have for me this time? A uh, shit ton more enemies, okay. It's a little bit fun when there's no curse on the screen. At least I enjoy that a little bit more. 
I just uh, wish I knew that to begin with, that I should not aim for, uh, for where it aims, but whether above it. Some more ammo, okay. more stuff for me here thank you thank you look at all the zombies over there now my goodness I still wish he would have put like walls around this place because if I run all the way out there right now as an example I would actually fall off the map uh, so, so that's like a thing that should be fixed at some point Run 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 All right change weapon uh, change weapon again. <laughs> and then we go to the button. It's like a gameplay loop with the same thing going on. Continue. I think I completed it now. Yeah, I did. Okay. So let me just start it again. Not because I want to play it again, but just because I don't want to all the loudness in my ears um i know i changed the music but i can't really change it to adapt it to the music itself when it's playing so uh yeah that's not gonna happen so what do i think of this it's an improvement over the last few maps honestly th this has more maps it has uh, more enemies a different kind of set of stuff that happens after you create a map it's very similar to the ones i've already played like the one before this one that i played was pretty much the exact same uh, but uh, it didn't really change that much according to when you played. So uh, in, in the, the air was just a normal sky. So aesthetically, it's a little bit different. Would I recommend buying this? Never. <laughs> like, like never. I, I would not rec this is not a good game. This is a person trying to get into game development. And it's a person actually trying to learn another engine and then using the assets in that engine to improve themselves and their gameplay stuff. When they release this on Steam, they don't expect people to buy it. They just want people to mess around in what they have made. Sort of like if you uh, show a drawing to a friend, as an example, or if you um, if you have made a high score in a game and you, you want to hand it over to your friend and say, ha, beat my high score, you know? It's like, look, look at me, I made this game. Maybe you can make something better. Maybe you think it's cool, don't you? Like, yeah. Everyone wants approval sometimes, and it's completely okay to want people to play your game and give their opinion on it and then try to make a better game on their opinion. Uh, again, I don't know if this person actually watches other YouTube videos or who they are or what exactly is going on. But good to you, friend, that you actually try to release different smaller games uh, that are small, like, like small mini games, you know? Uh, and then trying to learn an engine and improving on, on it game by game. Because like I said, the first one was literally just green grass, a normal base enemies that weren't like zombies at all. Uh, and like a blue sky, it just looked like you, this took, uh, it, it took place on, um, on a, a field somewhere. Uh, it was like three or four houses and that was the whole game. And here it's like eight levels, I think maybe. And at the same time, they have buildings, they have space now, which is the whole point of, like, the Andromeda name, uh, because they want space. Like, the Andromeda space. The galaxy Andromeda. Uh, I, I'm guessing that's what they're into. Maybe they're into space and they want that, this to take place in that universe. Uh, but like I said, there's still a lot you could do. And there's a lot of room for improvement to this, like make actual levels and make walls around the areas the players are in. Make it more of an arena shooter, maybe, uh, would be your next step. I can see that working out. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be this little, little game here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.